So let's make a basic effect then we will see how we can change color in a gradient like from one side to other another side if your particle is spawning on a location or just scattered so let's say i have this uh i'll take this fountain emitter and it's and here you can see that so if I delete the velocity, gravity, we have just the location that we can increase the radius. Okay, so we have these particles. You can use just a burst, then infinite life if you want, or you can just use like this. So let me make this very cool, then we will do that. So let me also make this GPU because I want to use lots of particles here. So I'll just use GPU fixed. And let's say this is like 2000. Yeah, cool. And life, life is okay. Then I will add some curl noise, maybe just 200, maybe 100. And I will also animate this. And size, I'll put 2, 1. And also let me drag. Cool. So you have this. You can also make this sphere just a spawn on the surface like this or just full volume but it depends on you so like we have these particles let me increase a little bit more it's gpu so it doesn't matter much maybe this much is enough okay so from here you can change the color you can make it red or you can make it any color then you can randomize it through here so if zero to one it will use all the colors if you have the slightly value it will just slightly do that thing so we have some ring pink and red same you can go negative little bit so some yellow some red okay so first thing is this this is doing random but we want from left to right or right to left top to bottom whatever you want so there are lots of ways to do this so the good way is you can do that also uh, depending on the position so basically the radius of my this let's say 100 so and these particles because of kernel little bit going uh, uh, beyond the 100 so basically this is 0 and this is going 50 this is going minus 50 you can add condition so if the particle position is less than 0 then do some color and if this is uh, more than zero then do some color so i'll do that so basically i delete this here let me let me reset this and take the color here and let's add a lerp two colors so let's say these are red and green okay so if i make this one these are green if i make this zero it's all red so this is alpha this is lerp factor actually so you can just make this vector and by making this vector if you make this vector like this it will choose one axis like this x y or z so now you can here make this like you can again break this and we are using x axis like this so this is x so now this is x so if i increase or decrease things changing so you can compare it or you can just make it boolean if you want a sharp line so you can make it boolean then here you can search compare this is actually a long way compare then we have 0 and 1 so you can add here position so I'll add, make this vector again and actually yeah and then connect position So we are taking the particle position. So now you can see if this is greater than zero, do something. If not, then do something. So depending on these two color is doing that, but it's a long way. And you can also change this value like this. You can go also negative. You can animate this value basically. The easier way will be, there's a already module that is called reason mask. It already give you that thing so if i put this here 
it will make a bounding box with these you can use sphere box plane or you can just choose slab slab is just a flat planar kind of thing okay and then in the output if i will show you what it writes it it writes these you can use this float so in the color here i'll just type region and i'll just use that float and you can see that slab so it's this slab has this width which you can reduce you can make this zero or you can increase it like this or you can use planar you can use box whatever you after this you can just offset it on any axis like this so this is easier way to do it if you want little bit fadeness in between you can increase this follow see to some are yellowish this is the fadeness so this is very cool module i have already i think a separate video on just the region mask so you can go with the box and now you will see there's a tiny box inside let me make this zero tiny box inside so you can increase the size on any axis and you can do it's not just for the color you can do anything if you want your curl noise just work on that you can do that let me show you if we have slab, uh, not slab, planar it's making this green and red i want my red taking curl noise but not green so you can just go here copy this float or just copy yeah copy this float and in the curl noise i'll add a lerp and then paste it here so now we have this a and b if i put 100 here curl noise working on one if i increase it even more is it working on both but it should not let me see why it's happening actually should not happen it's weird oh it should be here actually yeah uh, on a spawn because it was updating it uh, every frame so now you can see it's only working here so this is cool thing like if you are dissolving something so particle is static on a character then they're behaving with the curl noise so you can play with that So this model is not just for the color but i'm showing you just for the color here because i just wanted to show that and little bit fadeness we can add so some curl noise will work there and i hope that's new thing you learned today let me know in the comment if you already knew that or you just learned something new and let me also know what other modules or anything you want to learn Maybe I have already tutorial, but I will make updated in Unreal Engine latest version. So do comment and thanks for watching. Keep learning. Bye bye.